The Bank of Canada just lowered their qualifying mortgage rate. Hmm? What does this all mean? Stay tuned to this week's episode of Prime Property. Promise you, it'll be worth it. Good day, Toronto. Welcome to another episode of Prime Property. So glad you could join us here. As you can see, the set's a little bit different right now. We're trying something new right now, so leave your comments in the comment section below and let us know what your thoughts are on this. But there's one cool thing we can do. Check this out. Yeah, kind of cool, right? So the Bank of Canada just dropped their mortgage qualifying rate from 3.54% to 5.19%. So what does it all mean? Well, it means you should smash that like button and subscribe to Prime Prep Studio channel so that you can get notified as we put videos like this because the market's always been changing. And this is exactly what we're gonna talk about. Now, a lot of people have openly asking you, what does this all mean? Because there's a lot of articles out there that's trying to explain it, but really it doesn't mean. But here's the bottom line and what it means for you, okay? It means you can qualify for about 1% more on your purchasing power. That, that's it. That really is it. There's been a lot of chat about changing the stress test, reducing the rate at which the lenders have to qualify you at, and all they really did with this change was just drop it by 15 basis points. It's really not that big of a change on paper. What I do think it does, it's, it boosts the psychological game of real estate. This is gonna give buyers a little bit more confidence to be in the market despite that very tiny little small change. Now, here's what the numbers will break down to. So let's say you're making roughly $100,000 per year gross. That means you can probably qualify for about $500,000, call it a condo. And with this change, you'll be now qualified for a $505,000 condo. Kind of insignificant, right? Like that $5,000 is some money, but it's not really gonna move the needle much, but it'll probably get you a locker or get you maybe an extra bid in the, uh, if you get caught in a bidding war, but that's really it. Now, will the buyers be more confident in the market with this change? Probably, yeah, I probably agree. The confidence could, and could is an air quote, because it could ultimately increase the number of transactions, which could lead to the average price, but that's a very big could. Ultimately, I wouldn't let this uh, dictate your decision-making all too much. Like if you're gonna get in the market, just get into it now. Because last week I put out um, a chart and some numbers on how quickly the average Torontonian has to save for a down payment in order to get in the market. And let me tell you, it ain't pretty. It ain't pretty. The market is definitely going to outpace how quickly an average Torontonian can save up for. But I did leave um, the solution to that in the article. So make sure that you check that out if that's something you're interested in. I'll link to the description of, so I'll link to the article in the description below for you guys. And if you know anyone that's trying to decipher this type of uh, information about whether you should buy or not, make sure you send this video to them because it's going to help them out. And hope that helps you guys. Until next time, happy real estate. Now that you're done watching this one, how about this one? Oh, you know what? This one's good too. Ooh, this one's really good. You know what? Just watch the most.